was homeless and jobless and penniless and hairless. And that was my rock bottom right there. My name's Melissa Taylor, and this is my healing story. In 2005, when I was only 24 years old, I found a painful lump on my left breast. I got a phone call from one of my doctors, and he said, Melissa, this is cancer. The prognosis was really grim for me. So we started with the surgery and removed the lump from my left breast, and then came the chemotherapy. It was eight grueling rounds of three different types of poison that they inject into your veins intravenously. And they try to give you just enough to kill the cancer, but not to kill you. It's horrific what happens to your body when you go through that type of poison over and over again. At the end of my radiation treatment, my husband at the time filed for divorce and forced me out of my house. So I was sick and I was homeless and jobless and penniless and hairless. Not too long after my marriage ended and after the end of all my treatments through divine intervention, I met my husband Justin and we were married the following year. And through another series of miracles, we were able to get pregnant on our own with our two beautiful miracle baby boys. And nine years later, from my first diagnosis, during just a routine screening, they found another lump in my breast. It's one thing to be told that one time, but to be told it a second time, I had already been through it before. I knew what I was in for, and I could feel the fear creeping in as I was on the phone with the doctor, and immediately it was intercepted by gratitude. And it wasn't my gratitude, it's like I was gifted gratitude right in that moment, so I didn't have to feel the fear that was trying to come on. So I was just flooded with an immense amount of gratitude to the point where I didn't feel any other terrifying emotion. I opted for getting a double mastectomy, and I didn't do any chemotherapy or radiation after that. I knew that there were answers out there that could help me heal, heal my body and heal my soul. In desperation, I prayed, if you spare my life or my children, I will do whatever you want me to do. And right after that, he led me to people and websites and books to learn all the information that I knew was out there, but I just didn't know where to look. There is more to healing than just the physical body. There is our emotional body and our mental body, and our spirit needs healing. This was all new to me. I needed someone to take my hand and teach me how to get through this and show me strength and teach me how to deal with the emotions that came up, to deal with the fear that came up, to give my body the environment to heal. And 15 years later, all that I've learned and all that I've studied and all that I've practiced in my own life to help myself heal, I've become the woman that I needed. Doctors are great at what they do. They're really good and trained and skilled at honing in on the problem. But I think what's missing is looking at the person as a whole and looking where their wounds are. The cancer is just a symptom of a deeper state going on in the person that needs healing, that needs attention, and that needs an environment that will help it to heal. I radically changed everything in my lifestyle. I changed how I ate, I changed how I loved, I changed how I forgave, I changed how I laughed, I changed 
how I took care of myself. I changed how I moved my body. I changed everything. In the process of radically changing my lifestyle, I began to awaken spiritually to who I was, to what I'm here to do, and to my calling in life. And what brings me passion is sharing all of this information that I've learned with others. And I feel compelled to share what I've learned because I know that it's healing. I know that it's helpful. In the process of discovering how to heal my body, I ended up healing my soul. 